NVIDIA's latest AI chip launch in China turns into a pricing battle with Huawei, where market dominance is just as volatile as the technology itself. As NVIDIA navigates a complex landscape of U.S. sanctions and aggressive local competition, the pricing strategies and market uptake of their new chips could redefine the industry dynamics. How will this tension shape the future of AI technology in one of the world's largest markets? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this high-stakes technological standoff. Sources familiar with the situation reveal that NVIDIA's latest cutting-edge artificial intelligence or AI chip tailored for the Chinese market has encountered a sluggish start. Abundant supply has led to its pricing being pushed below that of a competing semiconductor from Huawei Technologies. This trend of declining prices highlights the difficulties NVIDIA's China operations are grappling with amidst U.S. sanctions on AI chip exports and intensified rivalry. These challenges cast uncertainty on the company's future prospects in a market that accounted for 17% of its fiscal 2024 revenue. The escalating competitive landscape in China also serves as a warning to investors in the U.S. semiconductor design firm, especially as its shares continue a remarkable surge following an optimistic revenue forecast announced recently. NVIDIA, which dominates the global market for AI semiconductors, introduced three chips tailored for China late last year after U.S. sanctions prevented the company from exporting its most advanced graphics processing units, GPUs. Among those chips, the H20 is the most closely watched as it is the most powerful NVIDIA product sold in China. But the three supply chain sources said there is an abundant supply of that product in the market, signaling weak demand. According to two of the three sources, the oversupply situation has resulted in H20 chips being sold at a discount of more than 10% compared to Huawei's Ascent 910B, which is the most potent AI chip offered by a Chinese company. These sources reportedly preferred to remain anonymous due to the sensitivity of the matter. Analysts noted that while NVIDIA is making significant efforts to gain traction in a market it cannot afford to lose, the future prospects are becoming increasingly uncertain. A report by Chinese market research firm CCID Consulting Projects that China's global share of the AI industry will surpass 30% by 2035. He Chen, a market analyst at IG, stated that NVIDIA is delicately managing the task of preserving its position in the Chinese market. While also navigating the tensions with the US, she noted that NVIDIA appears to be gearing up for potential challenges in the foreseeable future. In the first quarter earnings report, senior executives at NVIDIA cautioned that the company's business in China has experienced a substantial decline compared to previous periods due to US sanctions. Collect Cress, NVIDIA's chief financial officer, alluded to the situation, indicating that their data center revenue in China has significantly decreased since the implementation of the new export control measures in October. She hinted at expectations of continued intense competition in the Chinese market moving forward. Analysts emphasize that the performance of the H20 chip will significantly influence NVIDIA's business in China, while its longer-term outlook will hinge on its competition with the privately owned tech giant Huawei. Huawei, which only started to pose a challenge to NVIDIA last year, is reportedly set to substantially boost shipments of its 910B chip this year, according to the sources. These sources also indicated that the Shenzhen-based company's chip outperforms the H20 in certain crucial metrics. Huawei did not provide an immediate response to a request for comment. Over the last six months, the examination of accessible government procurement data indicates that only five state or state-affiliated entities have shown interest in acquiring H20 chips, while more than a dozen have expressed interest in Huawei's 910B during the same period. However, it's important to note that these findings are not comprehensive and may not fully represent the entirety of market demand. NVIDIA's H800 and A800 GPUs are prohibited in China due to U.S. sanctions aimed at curbing the country's advancement in the technology sector. Additionally, its other advanced product lines, such as the H100 and B100, have also faced bans. Another significant obstacle to the adoption of NVIDIA's H20 chip in China has been a directive from Beijing urging companies to prioritize the purchase of domestically manufactured chips. However, two of the three sources mentioned that these directives have relaxed somewhat in recent months. The H20 chip became widely accessible in China in April, with deliveries declines completed in just over a month. Several of China's major technology conglomerates have already placed orders, with Alibaba Group Holding reportedly ordering more than 30,000 H20 chips, 
according to two of the sources. However, Alibaba, the owner of the South China Morning Post, did not provide an immediate response to a request for comment. According to the sources, server distributors in China are offering the H20 at prices approximately around 100,000 yuan, or 13,805 US dollars per card, with the 8-card server priced between 1.1 million yuan to 1.3 million yuan per server. In comparison, distributors are selling Huawei's 910B at prices above 120,000 yuan per card, while the 8-card server equivalent starts at 1.3 million yuan to 1.5 million yuan per server. The sources also noted that prices for both the H20 and Huawei's 910B may vary depending on the volume of orders placed. Dylan Patel, the founder of research group Semianalysis, predicts that close to a million H20 chips will be shipped to China in the second half of this year. He emphasized that NVIDIA must compete with Huawei on pricing to maintain its competitiveness in the market. Pavel explained that the H20 incurs higher manufacturing costs compared to the H100 due to its increased memory capacity. Despite this, he noted that the H20 is being sold at half the price of the H100, which is the powerful NVIDIA chip banned from export to China in 2022. He remarked that this represents a significant decrease in margin. The competitive strategy around NVIDIA's H20 also underscores a broader trend where global tech companies adjust their operations and strategies in response to geopolitical tensions and trade policies. The AI chip market, pivotal to advancements in everything from autonomous vehicles to data centers, is particularly sensitive to such shifts. As companies like NVIDIA and Huawei vie for dominance, the ripple effects are felt across supply chains and technological innovation rates worldwide raising questions about the balance between competition and collaboration in the tech industry. In conclusion, NVIDIA's strategic price reductions for its H20 AI chips in China reflect the company's urgent need to remain competitive in a market increasingly dominated by domestic manufacturers like Huawei. With U.S. sanctions complicating the landscape and local directives favoring Chinese-made products, NVIDIA's maneuvers signal a broader industry shift towards intense price competition and market adaptability. As the company grapples with these challenges, the outcomes of this competitive tussle will likely influence not just future market shares, but also the strategic decisions of major players in the global tech arena. This dynamic situation continues to evolve, significantly shaping the future of AI technology. What do you think will be the long-term impact of NVIDIA's pricing strategy on the global AI chip market? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.